try to fight it before I go all the way. Who's this? I have no idea. What's good? All these people, we're back home. We just went to Orlando. So like literally like five minutes from the office. So we're here at Jason Skeldon's event, Jason's brew launch. Titan Medical Center is the main sponsor. Yeah. I know you got problems, know you at the bottom, know you took a loss today. Everybody want bottles, give me for a throttle. Try to find it before I go all the way. Cause everybody got problems, everybody starving. But don't you go off the day, yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't you go off, don't you go off now. That's right. Don't go off. Yeah. Nah, don't you go off, don't you go off now. Nah. Uh, look. Hey, I woke up this morning living my best life And if it isn't, at least I gave it my best try I'm just enjoying the moments cause ain't no next time Trying to slide with my people on the west side Yeah, moving different than all the rest Cause I'm about doing it different, new vision and no regrets Man, I used to be a victim, repentant yeah, I give a word now, so I heard these potions and these bottles Rachel Drew gets over this thing, you used to be like Someone over his head, I don't know All I know is we're here celebrating Congratulations to Big Jason Skelvin on his line Yo, Titan always does the big. Titan showed up, everyone's like, everyone got quiet. Everyone's like, who is that? I said, man, that's just Titan, man. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Drew, check this out, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You know what's funny? Oh, oh, I all about Drew, bro. Oh, man. That's normal. Drew's size? Drew's size? That's normal. Drew's size? That's normal. Hey, yeah, I woke up this morning living my best life And if it isn't, at least I gave it my best try I'm just enjoying the moments cause ain't no next time Trying to slide with my people on the west side Yeah, moving different than all the rest Cause I'm about doing it different, new vision and no regrets Man, I used to be a victim, repented of all my stress Now, excuse me, I'm just venting and getting it off my chest, yeah Believing one day we all ball But once you get your shot, just don't turn to a ball hog Putting my team on, if I'm higher, we all tall Just know I got your back, if you down, then we all fall That's loyalty, baby, that's right, that's right Right. Can't control it, but that's life, that's life, yeah Let's spend time more than we spend cash You only got one life and they do it fast, but Oh, I know you got problems, know you at the bottom Know you took a loss today Everybody want bottles, living for a throttle You just want a bottle today Back to Atlanta we go, but you know what? We have to say goodbye to our great host On the middle of the gorgeous, awesome beer Yo, Titan Medical Run shit. Jason Skeldon time Titan Medical. It's a good collab. Oh yeah. Jason Skeldon. Titan Medical Center. We got a lot of great things coming. But tonight we celebrate the beer of Skeldon. Yeah, it's like the neck of the god, baby. I love it. John, take your shirt off. Let's go, John. Take your shirt off. Where's Big, where's Big Drew? Where's Big Drew? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, love Titan Medical. Good people. So uh, we are back at the Titan Medical Center offices after a great Skell beer launch. Uh, Titan Medical Center was the main sponsor of one heck of an event. Big shout out to Jason. Um, and at this point, we're here and just to do like a bathroom break, we want to make sure that we brought back the Super Magnum six liter bottle that Skell made one of one for Titan Medical Center and us. Um, and at that point, we're doing some changing. So the girls are, might change in their different outfits. She's like Wonder Woman. She's changing her different outfit or costume. And we're going to get awesome. back on the road. That's who I am. And uh, we're going to go back to Orlando because we've got the slow speed tomorrow. So we oh. drove back. We drove to Orlando today. Okay. Back for this event. Now back to Orlando we go. And tomorrow we have a full day of Festival of Speed. So <laughs> come on, join us if you see it. If not, you're watching this great video. And we got tons of great content for you guys. So stay tuned. It's been a whole year already. If you can believe that. I mean, through COVID, through all the badness, it was a great year for Rachel Daniels and Titan Medical Center. So it's that time of year again where it's contract signing time. Yeah, we're pumped because this year is just gonna bring around a whole bunch more opportunity, hopefully more wins, a lot more of Titan Medical Center and our awesome athletes like Rachel Daniels. 
So uh, we're pumped today. Today's going to be an awesome experience, uh, round two. Yes, today's a great day. You ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. All right, so we're going to get the signing. This is a little pre-interview. Pumped about it, so get ready. This is going to be awesome. Okay. And um, ready to rock. You ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My handwriting's really bad. But. 2021 is going to be a huge year for Rachel. We're excited to be behind her 110%. Absolutely, yeah. This is going to be, this is going to be awesome. So. Titan family just moving on up and just get ready. Strap on your seat belts because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rocket ride all the way to the moon. <laughs> oh yeah, Let's we go. got some stuff coming up. Go sure. Titan baby. Sign <laughs> this right. bad boy up. Can you believe that? The first year goes in, wins her pro card, wins the New York Pro, which is one of the biggest shows afterwards, and then on to Olympia. Uh, you know, even top 10, like you're number seven, like that, that's huge because everybody in the world, right? It's quality over quantity every time. Like telling you, it's going to be an awesome year. And all the shows are coming. Florida, baby. New York Pro was in Tampa last year and it's we're going to go for it. it. Titan Medical is sponsoring it. And defending her title at New York Pro. Yes. Oh yeah. Super hard. It's a show in itself, man. When you get to see her pose, it's kind of like art, you Aww. know, you get to see this, it really is passion, you know, yeah. so it, it's You can it's tell huge. the difference. Yeah. I like the stage. <laughs> hey guys, John back with more Tight Medical Center tips for health and wellness that you guys can take advantage of. So today I want to talk about a major pillar of these tips and that's nutrition. So nutrition is essential. It's essential for your body physically, mentally, and for performance wise. Even if it was a race car, you want to put 93 octane in there, not regular 87 gas. Same thing with food sources. You want to get those nice premium good food sources so your body can perform, it can heal itself better, and it can work at optimal levels. That's what we're here for, right? Feeling the best you possibly can each and every day. And nutrition plays that strong role in this. Okay, and knowing your nutrition, how many calories you're taking in, how many carbohydrates, how many proteins, how many fats are in your diet per day, per meal. Now I know it sounds real complicated, but it's really, really not. You can actually look online and Google and find a calculator with your body weight, your body fat percentage that will actually break down how many of these macros, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats that you need per meal per day. And this will ultimately set you up with a great plan of action, which you can go forth with. You know what you can eat every day, you know when you should eat every day, and you know how much you should eat every day. Now, a lot of people, they really just don't know about nutrition. They eat the most garbage stuff out there, and they probably feel like garbage and their body reflects the exact same way. And if you're one of these people, you really do want change. You might just not know how to get that change. And that's where I really wanna help these people, because People, if they have that education and knowledge and information, then they're not, not ignorant. That means they're not uneducated about it. They know exactly what they can do and they can put it in play. And I think if people are educated about it, then they would be more confident for them to go out and to choose their meal plans, okay? And meal plans can be set up by you at home. They can be set up when you're at your job. So let me give you the examples of that. So if you're at home, you can pick a day of the week or two days out of the week. We really wanna do some food planning, right? meal prep is what we call it. And that's just getting together what your meals are gonna be for the week or for a couple days. Getting some Tupperware, setting you know your carbohydrates in there, some of your fats and some of your proteins in one dish and your greens, whatever it is, and you're all set to go. And you can set up like four to six of these Tupperware dishes and be good to go for two or three days. Now you set yourself up for success. Because all you have to do is take that bad boy. If you go to work, throw in a microwave. Um, there's little heating pads you can get that will keep those meals warm. Now, if you forget or you say, I just don't have time, so what do I do now? Well, beautiful thing about technology is, is we have Uber and we have all these meal food delivery services. And the way that they work is, is you can pick pretty much anything you want from any of these different restaurants or whatever it may be. Now, the key to this is finding the most basic, bland things. Of course, you can order the most craziest, richest, uh, you know, spaghetti with all this marinara sauce and whatever it is, or whatever you like, you know, a, a cheeseburger, it's greasy or whatever. But you can also get grilled chicken breasts, right? 
grilled chicken with maybe some white rice or some regular potatoes on the side um, that don't have a lot of salt on them or anything like that. And you guys can eat these at your job. They can get delivered right to you. It's hot, fresh, and ready to go. You know, you don't have to meal prep. You don't have to do anything. You just have to order. You know, some people, they're like, oh, I don't, you know, I, I really didn't know that. But this is something that you guys need to utilize in your resources. Because everybody has a cell phone, I think, a smartphone. Everybody utilizes it, especially right now. Um, and everybody knows about Uber Eats and all these different food services that deliver food to you guys. You guys can also go with a meal prep company. There's plenty of meal prep companies in the country that offer a wide variety of dishes for you guys if you guys really have a problem with food planning or even getting it delivered to you. You can have this delivered to your house and you guys can have meals for the whole week or a couple days, whatever it may be. So don't make the excuse that you cannot get your nutrition plan on point. There's no excuse for that. Like I said, you are what you eat. That old saying is so true. It rings so true. And once you start eating healthier, you're gonna feel healthier all the way around. Like I said, you're gonna look better because it's gonna help you, I guarantee it, with lean muscle mass, losing weight. Mentally, you should feel better because that good food source is gonna give you the nutrients you need for your body to work optimally. You know, these are different things that you need to think about. And that's really the first thing that I tell people to really get in check. When they come to me, I say, listen, get these two things in check, maybe three. And that's nutrition along with activity and proper sleep, right? But nutrition, is, is far one of the biggest things I think that people need to focus in on these days and people really don't. Um, and people go for all kinds of marketing scams because they look at boxes of food they buy and it says organic on it, but you look on the back and the ingredients, and you're like, oh my God. So it's really essential for you guys to know what you're intaking in your body. And that also includes, if you are buying it from a, a, a supermarket or whatever, to look at the ingredient label, right? To know what is exactly in that food that you're intaking because your body is going to absorb it and then try to break it down. So this is just one major pillar that I want to talk to you guys about and really, really cover in depth. And that's nutrition. So get your nutritional plan together and I guarantee all these other things will align right along with your activity, you sleeping better, and then you'll start feeling better, looking better, and performing better. Like I said, guys, these are just some tips and tricks that I want to help you guys out with from Titan Medical Center. I appreciate you guys tuning in and come back for our next segment when I'll talk about activity and sleep and how important those two things are as well. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back for another Cupid's Corner. Every Sunday, we have this conversation with you guys, talking about some of the different experiences we may have, some tips, some tricks to hopefully help take your relationship to a whole new lovely level. <laughs> or maybe reignite those flames that, you know, diminished over time. You don't want to make sure that everything's good to go. Plus, you know, we cover some things for you single people out there, too. Because obviously, you know, you're single and you need to help to find maybe a, a significant other. Yeah. Or maybe you don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe not. you don't want to. Yeah, right? Maybe Listen. your dog's good enough. It's great. But if you do, <laughs> we can uh, cover some subjects that are probably going to help you. But um, this one is a, a, a mass topic per se. So it covers everybody. Um, and this week, it's really important. And we take it very serious here. Um, in our personal life and obviously our business with Type Medical Center. And that is getting your significant other healthy or support them to be healthy mm -hmm. and to be active. For sure. I think it's a big, big topic. I know it's always a big one, but I think since this thing has come around like COVID and stuff like that, then obviously, you know, more obese people are getting this disease at a higher rate or dying. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we don't know because at that point it's affecting a lot of different people out there. But we know that usually healthy people, um, you know, they feel better, they look better, they're performing better, their job, their personal life or whatever it may be. Um, and they're being active at the same time. So their diets are pretty good. They're working out good. Um, but a lot of people are missing this in a lot of different ways. They're missing the mark in health and activity. They're not giving their bodies what it needs um, just to, you know, to, to function every day properly. I think that's, that's a miss with a lot of people. You just overlook it pretty quickly, too, to be quite honest with you, especially when you're busy. I mean, you don't even have to own a business to be on that level. You can oh, literally no. just work a nine to five and then yeah. you have to go get your kids and then you got to go home and cook. And then after you got to cook, you got to do this, do that. And then next thing you look at it, it's, you know, 12 a.m. 
and you're like, oh shoot, I gotta get up at five or I gotta get up at six or whatever it is. Yeah. And you're not getting a full eight hour sleep. Yeah. And believe it or not, I had to learn this the hard way, but believe it or not, sleep is huge. Oh, yeah. I mean, it allows your body to recover and it, you need sleep, okay? Yeah. I know back in the day, I'd be able to go probably like two days and not be able to not sleep at all, right? Sleep another four hours, roll in the next day, yeah. be like, bah, 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 right? Listen, I'm getting in my 30s now, you know? <laughs> slowing down a little bit um to be quite honest with you if i got more sleep back then i i might have been able to do more so i don't know because that was then this is now um but i do know sleep is very important and it's quickly overlooked because like i said people get busy same thing with lunch right yeah yep. let's say the girls here at the office they only get a 30 minute break so you have to decide what you're going to eat in 30 minutes, especially if your Uber or DoorDash does not show up. You're going to have a problem. Ah. So, you know, you're quick to eat something that's fast. And most things that are fast aren't usually good for you. That's right. So, you know, maybe pack a lunch or try to eat a little bit more healthy, make healthier choices. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's it's not just about like the way you look specifically. Um, it's honestly how you look on the inside too mm -hmm. you know and all this stuff about diabetes and hypertension and high cholesterol and you got all this stuff going on out there it, regardless of COVID or not this is still going to be you here in the near future so either way you look at it it's not good so yeah. if you can avoid it why not absolutely um and a lot of people you know it's just about taking preventative measures right or maintenance to your body you know it, you know you drive a car every day you get the tires changed or rotated. You get the oil changed, right? If something's wrong with it, you take it in, get it diagnostics, get it fixed, and everything's running good. And if that car is running optimally like it should, you're going to get better gas mileage. It's going to drive better. It's going to be safer. You know, you got to put this the same things to your body. Um, you got to give it the right fuel. If you don't give it good fuel, it's going to run like crap, just like a car. Um, you know, if you're not getting proper sleep, and that's recharge time, recovery time. Um, if you're working out, you're breaking down muscles and you want them to repair. And that's when, you know, sleep is the biggest time when your body does repair, it recharges, you need it. Uh, you know, there's studies out there for mental function and cognitive function. You won't have good cognitive, fun cognitive function, excuse me, if you sleep less than six hours in most cases. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know? that's, that's a true statement. I'll yeah. be honest with you. So like, I'm probably one of the best you know, examples when it comes to this. I always like to tell real life stories on our show. So real life story, you know, I have endometriosis. I've had endometriosis since I was 16 years old. I've had multiple surgeries for it, right? So I meet John, and this is a long, long time ago. Um, and you know, I used to wake up in the morning and the way I woke up was with my Coca-Cola and my cigarettes. That's how I woke up. Not a great way, I know, I know. Listen, guys, we all go through something to grow up, right? <laughs> So anyways, he, he forced me to quit smoking, um, which I did, thankfully. And now I'm going to probably be here longer because he let me, you know, told me to quit. Um, but I also stopped drinking all the Coke. And, you know, the cellulite on the back of my thighs started getting a little bit better. And I'm like, oh, wow, I don't have cellulite at 25. Thank goodness. So, you know, bigger portion of this is, you know, inflammation in the body, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, John would always preach to me, like, you eat that fast food, you eat this, you drink that, it's gonna, you know, make it worse. That's why you're in extra pain. Cause no matter what, I'm gonna be in pain. Right. But if I'm in doubled over pain where I can't even get out of bed, you know, it's a lot has to do with inflammation. Absolutely. And believe it or not, literally guys, it's like 70% of the food you're eating right now, just to get by, mm -hmm. it causes a lot of inflammation. Mm -hmm. And I would bet 90% of you out there have something wrong that causes inflammation, whether it's a shoulder injury, whether it's arthritis, whether it's some sort, it, you could have autoimmune deficiency. All of those things are all inflammatory type stuff. Even irritable bowel syndrome. I mean, we're talking about every part of your body can have something that has to do with inflammation. You eat fried foods, you eat, you drink Coke, you do whatever. This is not good for your body. No. It fuels the inflammation yeah. and you just won't feel good. You yeah. won't feel good at all. So, yeah. I mean, it's been a game changer for me. I can't say I listened to him for a lot of years because that would be me lying to you guys. Um, but I just got to learn the hard way. <laughs> after I got COVID and put in the ICU Jeez. and off my feet for three months, I finally decided to listen. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, this whole time, I'm like, man, you've been right this whole time. And he's like, yeah, yeah. 
I want to say I told you so. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. But I'm, tell you, I'm more happy that she did it, right? <laughs> um, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, I'm not having to push her to do this. I'm like, oh, because it's real hard, you know, when you're pushing somebody all the time. Like, you know, it, it gets frustrating to you. Like, man, like, all right, listen, I'm not. I'm just not going to do it no more. Like, you don't want to do it. Like, you know, but you got to stick with it and you got to push. Um, and then some people go through traumatic you know, situations, mm -hmm. right? And it doesn't have to just be COVID. It could be, listen, a, a serious heart attack or yeah. some sort of something that happens to you very serious. And then that that should really be your wake up call. Yeah. And hopefully it's not too serious where you can't come back because mm -hmm. um, there's people out there like that or terminal, terminally ill or, or die right on, their, right on the spot from heart attacks or blood clots or, or all different types of things out there. Um, so at that point, listen, you guys, you guys got to make sure that you guys are pushing your partner to be as healthy as possible. Now, nutrition is a hard one. We talked about on the road. Um, so if you guys are on the road all the time, nine to five, nine to six, now even with us, we're just like 24 seven, like we're working 24 seven, like literally streets mm. like, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. And I literally I, have to stop I'm the type him. of person <laughs> that, listen, when I get my, my mind focused on something or I'm, I'm starting mm. a task, I gotta complete that task before I go do anything else. I'm like, but you have to eat now. You know, I put everything aside. <laughs> That's just the mentality that I've always had. So at that point, listen, I got to relax. I got to eat, right? Or I'm not going to, you know, gain the lean muscle tissue that I want to or even take in enough calories that I need to. I'm just dwindle burning away. off. And that's how you dwindle away. That's, <laughs> that's dwindle away. <laughs> For most people, though, it's them gaining a lot of weight. And that's because they're eating garbage throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, they're ordering something fast off Uber Eats. Now, you guys can utilize that tool you really can to or get good stuff yeah for good or you can utilize it for bad yeah. my examples are listen you can get haagen on there uh five guys you can mcdonald's you can get all these different things that they offer and most of the people go for those little fast options or listen you can find some place that is like a grill place and order grilled chicken specifically right. Like you can order a fish or stuff like that. Like, white rice. Like it's very simple and easy to do this and eat this. Um, you I don't just, have to be like that all day, no. every day. You can have, you know, you can still eat the, the, the good stuff per se. You know, good stuff may not be good for you anymore. It just starts tasting a little different, I think. I think once you get past <laughs> a certain point, like yeah, literally you'll taste this stuff and it'll taste like garbage and you don't want it. You might think like mentally, like, oh my God, I can't wait to eat this. And then you eat it and you're then like, you get it. You're like, man, like this wasn't that good. And now I'm regretting eating this thing because I, you know, I work so hard right now. Yeah, uh, I do know that feeling. You know that feeling after you've done it, right? You're putting in the hard work for yourself. Yeah. That's another thing. Like your partner's pushing you per se, right? You're getting upset with them, but it's like for you, like that, that's for you. Like there might be benefiting maybe if you start looking better, you know, in the bedroom and stuff like that, <laughs> um, on the beach or whatever. But the main thing is it's for you. Like it'll help you health wise. Like we know that activity, um, in any form, you know, some people fitness, right? Lifting some weights or doing cardiovascular, um, exercises, but other people listen, they can start walking. Yeah. You could, I mean, some places. I'm not country, a, I'm not a big fitness chick to be quite honest with you. So, I mean, he's had to like kind of force feed me the gym for, uh, our whole relationship and some, so, you know, <laughs> best thing to do, you know, for people out there that are not into that, if you have a dog, walk your dog. Um, you know, if it's nice outside, go for a jog out, it, you know, going for a jog outside to me personally is just a lot funner or just, I enjoy it better than going to a gym on a treadmill. It's just my personal, just, I like it like that. I like the weather, you know, I can see what's going on. You know, it might be different for you. Go do something with your kid. Go to a trampoline park. You know, go to roller skating. Yeah. Go do something that requires you to walk. Bush Gardens. You know, go to one of the theme parks because you got to walk around there. Dude, right? even even uh, like laser tag. Like, yeah. If you run around during laser tag, you can be lazy in that and sit in one place and snipe people. I mean, day. I guess you could. You're but gonna, you're not gonna have the high score. You, though. Can, you can run around and stuff like that too, <laughs> and that's that's active. Like you and you're, you're having fun doing it, right? You're not even thinking like because some people get stuck on the treadmill or run outside and they just don't want to do it. Like, you know, like, God, I don't want to be doing this. Mm -hmm. But if you're not thinking about it and you're doing the activity, like you're having fun, mm -hmm. that's that's the most beneficial thing because A, you're having fun, and two, you're, you're doing activity which is helping your health. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people lose track of that and I think that's a big thing out there. Yeah, I think that people literally should, um, you know, focus on these different things and baby steps that they need to. Mm -hmm. But listen, don't go all hardcore if you haven't done anything in a while. Because you're gonna be so sore or you know achy. Or, oh, I don't want to do this. And then again. you don't. And then you won't do it. Don't do I, that. I've done that. I don't know. I probably 
And every like once a year, I would do that with John, and then I would just give up, and yeah. I honestly just wouldn't go to the gym. Don't do that. I just wouldn't, and it's not good for him either, because honestly, he likes going to the gym, right? He that he needs the gym. I need like, the gym mentally, like mentally, not even like just physically. He needs it mentally. Yeah. You know, everybody has their outlet. That's his outlet. You know, so you know, I don't want to hold him back from going to the gym. So I just used try to utilize that to push him to push me, and then both of us can go and look look great, feel great, be great, mm -hmm. you know, be healthy, mm -hmm. um, and just try to utilize it for the positives and yeah. not, you know, the negatives. I mean, honestly, it should be created a bond with you guys going to the gym and, and doing this. And if you're a guy, don't don't think that every activity that you do or exercise is going to be good for the female because mm. um, that's not true. I mean, at that point, most of the exercises are to a certain degree if you're using machines and stuff like that. Some guys, they don't like machines. It's all about free weights. You know, make sure if you're doing this that you know what you're doing. You're supporting your partner if she's doing this and just starting off, especially with free weights. Mm -hmm. You know, machines, it's a little bit easier. It's isolated movements. It's more protective. So, I, you know, if you're just starting off, I always tell people, listen, start with machines. You don't have to go to free weights, right? Now, some people have injuries. And with those injuries, it restricts movement um, or the way that they can start a movement. And for me, like it's shoulders, right? So, you know, some of those machines, it doesn't do good because I have to go in a certain motion up and that might hurt me. And if it's hurting you, don't do it. You know, that whole no pain, no gain thing, that mm -hmm. doesn't go for injuries. That yeah. goes for like if you're sore the next day, right? You're going to get some <laughs> pain, right? But you're going to get the gains out of it. But the biggest thing is, is like you can do free weights. And if you're doing free weights, it's more of a, a free motion. Just do a lighter weight. And you can actually do the free motion. You can do movements and have those muscles fire, you know, be actively firing away and, without hurting yourself. Well, the same thing goes for females. And I'm sure I could probably relate to a few guys out there because this is how I felt, you know. If you do decide to go work out with your man, um, you know, they might be pushing all kinds of weight, you know. That might not be, obviously, you're going to be pushing baby weights compared to them, you know. So don't feel like you, you can't work out with them because you're not on the same level. Mm -hmm. Because you guys can technically do the same exercise, just at different weights. Now, let's say that you don't like that exercise, because there are a couple exercises that John does that I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that one, because it's going to make me feel uncomfortable here, and I don't like it here, and I just, I don't want to do it. You know what you could do is, if you're well-versed in the gym, go set your girl up somewhere where she can do, a, like, an actual exercise. Yeah. And be like, here, this is how you do it, yeah. let me show you how to do it, yeah. and then let her be. Yeah. So there's many ways to get around it. I mean, listen, if you guys need to, you guys can go online, I know with Type Medical Center here, we, we have programs and stuff like that, like videos and stuff of, of different exercises. So we'll catch John on that. a lot of different things that we can help <laughs> you guys out with. But um, that's the end, guys. We'd it's like never to, the end. We'd love to talk about this uh, just for today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it's, it's been a great show. Thank you guys again for tuning in for Cupid's Corner every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. Um, and Easter Sunday. That one's going to be actually moved to Saturday at 5.30 p.m. Just a heads up because we're going to do an Easter program and everything like that. So we appreciate it. Tune in. And if you miss it on the TV show or you want to watch it again, go to our YouTube channel, Type Medical Center, or Facebook, or IGTV. You guys can catch the full episodes on there, too. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on Cupid's Corner. See you then.